you guys remember the three structures? back into perspective here. I can box it up so it helps. And now we go about halfway. This is here for the edges. Bottom of the middle is also the bottom of here for the shin. Checking the slopes down. So we got this far. Just our proportion model and perspective. Now, first extrusion problem. We're going to take this measurement here for the nose, center of the eye for the nose, bottom of the nose, and bring it up. And then bring it up. It's going to be slightly shorter here. Because it's in perspective. And you can take this unit, divide it three. I like to look at uh, here's a and we screwed up and out. To create that bottom plane of the brow bone. And let's find the size that looks good here. Technically, you're doing a little bit of both cutting in and then extruding up and out. So from the side, it's going to look like it's kind of like this. And then bring it up and out. Because it does go, if you look at the skull, it's up and out. It goes in, obviously, to create the eye socket. When we get to the eyes, we'll fill in this bottom part too. But let's continue on with the frontal mass or the frontal plane. Some of you have done the rhythm homework, you'll notice that this rhythm here gives you a lot of information. What, what this is, actually the top of the brown bone, is this guy right here. We'll get to that later. Now, what we want to do is extrude cheekbone. It's also in the rhythm sheet here. Now, when I look at the model, I know that a, a lot of times with the anatomy and uh, muscle and shadows, get really confusing. I like to imagine <coughs> what the actual skull looks like. I'm trying to look, uh, imagine what the zygomatic arch, which is this bone right here, your cheekbone. Here, and then extends down to the mouth part. And the mouth is not just, it's not a flat plane, it's a cylinder. It's a cylinder this way. Also a cylinder this way. And we're aiming for the underplane of the mouth part. Teeth. Not, not, we're not looking at lips and anatomy yet. Aiming for the underplane there. Then we would find the jaw shape. So 
this is where we left off last week. And then we just push and pull. So we really want to nail a silhouette as much as possible. Get all the selfies like like last week. Uh, Grant had a peak right here. We wanted to nail that. Cheekbones weren't too high, maybe they were a little bit softer here. His jaw was wider, for example, here. So at every stage, we're trying to think of a silhouette. We're trying to get a really strong likeness with the limited tools we have, just using structure and planes. Because that's just what gives you a convincing drawing. It's not all the pretty features and rendering. Anybody who has not seen Star Wars, not familiar with Darth Vader, <laughs> anyone in here? What I'm looking for is what looks like a Darth Vader muzzle. And what that is, when I'm extruding the nose mass, is this guy. See how, obviously, your, your nose isn't all bone, it's bone and cartilage. So if you guys can touch the peak of your nose, that hardest part, the peak, is probably this guy where the bone ends. So we're gonna aim for that. Oh, we're gonna use Keystone first. We're gonna look at the Keystone of the model. We're gonna use Tear Duct to bring down to the width. And once we get this guy, we're gonna draw our Darth Vader mask. Once we get this guy, we extrude the nose as a plane. Nose looks like this for now. We'll, we'll get into more detailed nose construction maybe next week. So all your nose is uh, just think of it as top and two side, kind of an underplane where the nostrils are. So we're gonna try to box in our nose, and it sits on this big mass is your muzzle mass, your Darth Vader. So it looks something like this. <coughs> and this obviously will be where your lips are going to sit. This is the opening of where your teeth are going to sit. And um, on a lot of, uh, you know, as you get older, especially on the older models, you'll see skin will develop here. A lot of wrinkles develop here. Even on the younger models, see shadow will cast here because what's happening is the plane will change here as the cheek goes in cheekbone goes in slightly and there's some muscle that connects there but that's what that uh, rhythm is describing here so this is how we're going to extrude our nose today if you want you can shade in your under plane here so we're not uh, going to get into uh, nostrils or lips yet Shade the eye. 